Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And what I want to share with you today is how I track my business tools expenses uh, within Notion. So if you're running an online business, this is kind of the way I run the expenses side of things to be able to see what I should get rid of, what I should keep, and what makes sense to renew in the future. Stay tuned. All right, so one of the biggest things that when you're looking at your business is the financials. So when we're looking at the financials, here is my uh, kind of the expenses that I deal with in the business tools. I don't check on this like every day or anything like that. Uh, this is just kind of um, as I add a new tool, a new expense, uh, purchasing something big, maybe something on renewal, especially the renewal ones. Uh, then I get an inside look of um, uh, what those expenses are going to look like. Now, we run a couple of different businesses here. Uh, one of my main ones is doing investing. Uh, when it comes to option trading, I also teach people doing that. And then we also run other companies. All the whole team will do things like ebook covers, podcast covers. Uh, they'll do podcast editing to ebook um, uh, editing. We've got video uh, intros, outros, uh, thumbnail design. So there's a couple of businesses, but it's the same team that we just create a little network of um, uh, subsidiary websites. So anyways, within this, uh, this is a way to kind of track some of the tools. Because what happens is, is the tools, people go ahead and pay $20 a month for that, $60 a month for that, $90 a month for that. And those tools start to add up very quickly, especially in the online business space now where things are kind of a monthly recurring Thing, and that really just becomes very pricey. So when we look at these things, this is how I do it in Notion. So as I check this out and you look at it, um, I basically have the name, uh, what is it, uh, the category that it's for, uh, is there an affiliate link, uh, do I need it, and here I might have essential, preferred, or review downgrading, um, renewal, uh, renewal frequency, the price a month, price annual, price lifetime, because sometimes you buy uh, lifetime tools, and a five-year cost. I like looking at a five-year cost because it just shows me, because if I have something that's lifetime that I paid like one time, 49, that's it. And if I need it, then that's great. But sometimes it's kind of like, hey, we don't even use it. We bought it, but it's a lifetime thing, uh, but we don't even use it. Other times we buy something like this, like a phone wagon we got, it's essential, it's a lifetime, and it was 79 bucks. Uh, whereas before we were paying like uh, Grasshopper and Mighty Call and some other ones uh, out there for like uh, 20 or $30 a month. So within two months, we already paid that off. So I've been using that for a while. So anyways, this is the way I look at it. And then when I uh, break down the financial side of things, you can see here I have kind of the sum. Uh, which if we zoom out, uh, the sum, this is the uh, price monthly. So we're paying uh, monthly tools and then we have the annual, um, then uh, lifetime and then really a five-year cost. So five-year cost on tools. And what you could do is kind of see, hey, is this running hot, high, low? What is it? Where is it at? And uh, that's kind of um, that's kind of what we're doing here is just we're, we're managing the expenses and that's the way I approach it. That doesn't mean we don't use other tools. There's some other tools like uh, in the browser uh, and stuff that we'll use uh, here. Uh, that we've already paid for but these are some of the more online tools so you could go ahead and kind of create a spreadsheet like this and i only review this when a renewal comes up or when i add a new tool because that way you can see how that'll affect your expenses and also allows you to review things okay and then i'll go through and say okay do we still need this do we need that do we need that so I go kind of through the list is this still preferred is that still preferred um, is it more like, do we even use that tool? So you can also get an inside look of, there's some tools out there that you're not even using. And what happens is sometimes if you bought the lifetime deals, jumping on thinking you use it, maybe it's wise to just hold off on those in the future rather than buying the lifetime deals and then just when you need it, pay for it monthly. So uh, that's kind of the way I look at things and look at the tools and approach it again everybody's methods a little different yes we also use quickbooks and a lot of other uh, financial um, items but the problem with all that is you don't really get to see it in a spreadsheet like this when you dig into quickbooks it's kind of it doesn't show you the renewal uh, dates and those kinds of things so this I plug in specifically because I want to see what is the renewal rate it was it a lifetime cost that kind of thing so it gives me an insight of and what is it for is it is it a tool is it a plug-in are we spending too much money on domain names that kind of thing so um, it gives me gives me kind of a, a basis of where is the money going uh, so it's it's kind of a, a overview so Anyways, if you're not tracking some of those business tools, especially the monthly ones, definitely start looking into this. Uh, and if you're struggling with the cash flow of your business, 
check out the monthly tools or the tools that you're paying for because some of those can add up really quickly in the modern world. Uh, 20 years ago when I was doing um, business stuff back when GeoCities was uh, an angel fire doing website hosting, you got like the five megs for free back for some of you guys that remember that. Uh, you didn't have to worry about this kind of stuff because it, these types of tools weren't around and weren't available. But nowadays, there's a lot of tools, there's a lot of goodies, freebies, things that you could do. Um, and uh, some of those things start to add up in costs if they're not free. And uh, if you got to pay for them, yeah, that's fine. You might need some of the tools, but just watch your expenses. Just make sure it's a tool that you need you use and it makes sense for the business. So anyways, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Feel free to check out our website at mylittlenesteg.com where I share with you some insight all about finance and uh, just uh, income, money related things and topics. Grab some freebies by clicking the link here. Subscribe to the channel if you're new or just click over here to watch some other great videos. Thanks again and I will see you next time.